Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Friday, October 21st, 2022. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Boy, I am a tired puppy this morning. Spent a great night up in Baltimore with a bunch of friends and had a fantastic meal at D'Alessio's in Little Italy. And we all found free on-street parking nearby. So I'll call that a win. And now we do need to talk about the news for Friday and kick off the weekend. So let's get into it, shall we? Aravanti, that private jet company based right here in Annapolis, they're hoping to double their current fleet of 16 planes in the next six months, and that $100 million in funding they just got from Lafayette Aircraft Leasing will certainly help. Their model really narrows the gap between commercial and private flight, making it much more affordable. And they've also gotten into the luxury charter market, too, with four new vessels for their sister company, Aravanti Yacht Club, also based here in Annapolis. We spoke with the founder and CEO, Patrick Britton Haar, last October for a local business spotlight. You may want to scroll back, listen to that. Pretty cool company. Google has identified the most common misspelled words, and they claim it's from search terms, but I happen to wonder whether it's not from Gmail, but that's neither here nor there. But for those that are curious, the top 10 misspelled words are calendar, Arctic, Nice, Receive, separate, rhythm, believe, Connecticut, occurred, and congratulations. Bringing it back a bit closer to home, Crosby Marketing Communications recently held its 10th annual day of service day. Over the past nine years, the firm has donated 4,012 man hours and $141,600 to support local charities and nonprofits. This year, 102 employees worked with The Lighthouse right here in Annapolis and Second Chance up in Baltimore. All told, they worked 612 hours, and then Crosby donated $5,000 to each. Man, I'll tell you, what a good community-minded company that is. Okay, it is Friday, so let's look at the weekend. Tonight at 7.30 p.m., the Raven, one of the watermark yachts, will cast off for a two-hour cruise because we all know what happens when you have a three-hour cruise. But it is a special cruise as the Naptown Brass Band will be on board and playing. Dancing, dining, and drinking sounds like a perfect start to the weekend for me. You can get the tickets at watermarkjourney.com. Tomorrow at noon, it is Navy football as the Mids try to get another win against Houston. We'll have all the action, so you want to be sure to follow our live blog on ionanapolis.net as well as on Twitter at ionanapolis. Later on, it is Dinner Under the Stars on West Street, and I'm beginning to think that this is sort of like the Eagles on their final tour. No, no, this is really our final, final, really, we're really serious now final tour. But I'm glad to see Dinner Under the Stars back. The weather is supposed to be beautiful. And finally, on Sunday, on the coolest avenue in town, it is the Maryland Avenue and State Circle Fall Festival from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And also, a little bit later, the city is sponsoring a haunted hilltop event at the Pitt Moyer Rec Center from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Games, contests, and plenty of fun for the kids. It is free. And if you can get outside this weekend, do it. I am planning to go leaf peeping, and according to most of my sources, this weekend will be the peak weekend for fall foliage in the area. And that's it for news and events, but here are some podcast news for you. Tomorrow on the Local Business Spotlight, Betsy from Scout and Molly's, and next weekend going to be Captain Rory Ward from the Salvation Army. Of course, we thank you for listening and putting up with us every day. I do hope that we add some value to your world, and if we do, leave a review somewhere. We also want to thank our sponsors for today's Daily News Brief, Solar Energy Services, Scout and Molly's, and the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a Long and Foster Company. It is Friday and the weekend is here, so now it is time just to say have a great weekend, be nice to others, do something fun, and keep shopping local. Other than that, we're going to see you on Monday. Now hang tight because George Young from DC MDVA Weather is here with your locally forecast weather report. All that in just a bit. Ready for a new look for those end-of-summer parties? Come see us at Scout Molly's. 
I'm Betsy Abraham. My mom and I own and operate this great little boutique at the Annapolis Town Center. After spending the last two years shopping online, come enjoy a fun in-person shopping experience with a bonus, real customer service. We'd love to help you pick out the perfect outfit for back to school Annapolis boat shows and nights out with your friends. Scout and Molly's Annapolis Town Center. Thanks for shopping local. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Friday, October 21st. Yesterday was another cool, breezy fall day for the Annapolis region, but conditions will be nicer today through at least next Wednesday, though we may see a little rain this Sunday. Look for sunshine and highs today in the mid-60s or so, with light winds following another chilly morning today, with another frost advisory in effect for the region, with temps in the 35 to 40 degree range, to be followed by a great day Saturday with sunshine and highs 65 to 70 degrees ahead of slightly cooler temps Sunday with highs in the low to mid-60s with some rain showers possible before skies clear once again with mixed skies and temps near 70 degrees each day Monday through Wednesday of next week. Okay, that's it for today and this week. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day and weekend out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day along with our website at dcmdvaweather.info. And definitely be sure to download our DCMDVA Weather app on all of your devices from either the Apple or Google App Stores so you can always stay weather informed. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years, and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart of the Christy Neidhart team from Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. Hi, I'm Christy Neidhart. Gearing up for the Bay Bridge Run Walk, I figured if I was going to walk, then why not do it for a cause? And why not bring along some friends, too? I reached out to Stacy Nicholson of CNR Insurance and Dale Watson of Alpha Engineering, and they said yes, but why stop there? So we're putting out an official challenge to join forces with us. So we'll walk for a cause Sunday, November 13th. All funds raised will support backpacks for kids, Christmas for children, and diapers for babies. These programs make a difference in the lives of people throughout our community. We invite you to walk with us. Join Team Walk the Walk Foundation, and registration is free. Visit WTWF.org to register and learn more. Already registered? No problem. You can still join our Walk the Walk fundraising team. What's that website again? WTWF.org. Together we can rock this walk. Who's in? You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IamAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at I Am Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.